With the rest day behind them, the peloton returned with one less rider. Dan Martin, a non-starter, heading home to be with his wife with the imminent arrival of their first children. Twins are on the way. Stage 10 getting underway in Salamanca, making its way through to Bermelio de Ciego, a stage of 177 kilometres. Just the one categorised climb throughout the stage, a category three climb at 30 kilometres to go, then a flat run through to the finish line. Starting in Salamanca, where in 2011 it was Chris Froome who donned the red jersey. This time, it's another Brit in the race lead, Simon Yates. A one second advantage over Alejandro Valverde. The top 10 separated by just 48 seconds. Alia Viviani, the Italian national champion, starting as the pre-stage favorite. As a breakaway group of two formed at the front, amongst those chasing were his teammates from Quickstep. In the breakaway in the red colours from the Katusha Alperson team, Thiago Machado, the Portuguese rider within five kilometres of the Portuguese border, enjoying his moment off the front. With him in the breakaway was Jesus Esquerra from the Borgos BH team. As they were heading towards the intermediate sprint on the stage, there were questions being asked as to whether or not Valverde would participate. But sadly, there was a heavy crash at the back of the field with the Italian from UAE Emirates, Simone Petilli, the most seriously injured, taken away to hospital. The good news is, reports coming back, he is conscious and he will be okay. On to the final climb of the day, Esquerra was caught, so too Thiago Machado. Bora Hansgrohe took control as Valverde led them over the top. Luis Engalmate, no concern about the King of the Mountains classification, still holding on to a 27 point lead ahead of Ben King. It was quick step in control inside the last two kilometres. Lucas Postelberger, the Austrian champion, tried his luck, but it was Morkov of quick step who brought him back into the fold. Sabatini then went to the front as he launched their team leader, Elia Viviani, on his way towards yet more success. Despite the challenge from Peter Sagan, nobody had the answers for the Italian, and it was Viviani winning the game. For Elia Viviani, his second stage victory in this year's race, his 17th win for the season. I hope to be in the perfect moment of my career and in the perfect team. Uh, so that, that is for all the, the team and uh, the family. Elena come here yesterday for a rest day and uh, I think I really spend the best rest day I can and then today I have a full energy to try to sprint again in front of this, all these champion. The brilliant season continues for Alia Viviani and he's not finished with yet. Winning the stage ahead of Peter Sagan, Nizzolo was third, followed by Soto and Saru rounded out the top five. No change in the general classification, still Yates leading by one second ahead of Alverde, followed by Quintana, Bookman and Izaguirre. Stage 11 awaits and it's the longest stage of the race. Ribiera Sacra Luntra is the destination, 207.8 kilometres, and it is littered with climbs. Three category three climbs, one category two climb. Is it too much for the sprinters? It's surely not enough for those racing for red. It could be the opportunists.